Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today, we are going to have a talk about challenge. Mm -hmm. Challenge. This came up to me the other day. I think it was in a live stream, actually. I was doing on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube. I did a live stream. I think it was on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube. The one when I was channeling the, the Divine Mother Mary, that would have been Christmas week, 2021, on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube. Or it might have been the live stream I did on Bridget Inspired which Bridget Inspired is my Instagram and my Facebook, but it was a live stream on Instagram, Bridget Inspired. It might've been that where I was doing like a card reading. One of those places, the concept of challenge and what challenge means came up. And I instinctively usually, um, I think I do, I think it, I was doing a card, I think, um, because the idea of like, I think I got a card and it says something about a challenge or being challenged. And I thought, oh, that sounds hard. Challenge. Oh, mm, challenge. That sounds really hard. That instinctively inside of me activates this energy of, oh my gosh, this is going to be tough. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough. And then I realized because words have so much power and so much frequency. And that's why I've been inspired to do this podcast is because I get really just magnetized and amplified and just uh, words. I'm just like, oh, the words, words have so much depth to them and vibration and energy and meaning with the mind. And it's a great way to bring the brain into the spiritual experience and understanding of energy. Mm, I love, love, love words. And in this case, this is a perfect example of how the word can be utilized in different contexts to bring us different perspectives. We can use it to shift our energy. And so too, we're going to do that today with our Sunday morning coffee. We are gonna shift the understanding of challenge as something that's like this hard thing. It means, oh my gosh, this is hard. This is harder. It's gonna be hard into something that challenge could be something that's an invitation, could be something that, invites us to consider things differently. Mm -hmm. Might be an invitation. So what I'd like you to do is grab out your journal. This one's mine, my current one right now. And this is actually linked below in the description of this video. Sunday morning coffee podcast is usually an audio, but today it's a video. Sometimes it's a video. And in the link in the description, you'll find this particular journal. Yep, in below. So grab out your journal and just take a minute to can pause the video. Take a minute to write the word challenge. And contemplate what it evokes for you. Does it bring forward uh, controversial energy, conflict energy, con or, or, or is it more of a pondering, hmm, like a thinking energy, uh, contemplation or invitation energy? Just take a moment to do that. I'm just going to honor, um, because you know I'm a psychic, right? You guys all know that I'm a psychic medium. In my private session work, however, I focus on intuitive coaching. So I use a coach approach, a very um, kind of teamwork approach with you. I don't do psychic readings or that kind of thing in private session. But I'm really inspired right now to acknowledge a spiritual guide that's stepping forward, which is Archangel Michael. And Michael is a tried and true ride or die energy for me, who has been supportive with me from day one of my spiritual journey. And I'm really recognizing the energy of Archangel Michael coming in with this concept of challenge and honoring myself from where I started with this topic, feeling quite like, oh, that means hard. Oh, it's hard. Oh, great. Oh, great. Kind of a feeling, reaction, response when really what if challenge is 
an opportunity. And Archangel Michael steps in and is like, mm, reassuring me like, okay, Bridget, okay. It's time to reframe this. <laughs> so it's kind of like, and here's the energy that Archangel Michael's bringing in for me to share here is like, the energy of challenge is like the energy of a sword. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm seeing an image because I'm cl very clairvoyant. So I see the psychic gift of sight. That's my primary channel. And then the empath, well, empath, empath energy and clairsentience is probably my primary channel, but I always use my clairvoyance because it's just the, my go-to. <laughs> so, um, I'm seeing in my mind's eye and clairvoyantly the energy of an old school letter opener, you know, like a, uh, like an old school letter opener, you know, long and skinny. It looks like a little sword, but it's long and skinny and you just, it's dull. It's not sharp and you just use it to open a letter. Right. And Archangel Michael said, so that's a sword. It's not for a bloodied battle. It could be used as a weapon, but a sword can also be very helpful for clearing. When you're walking through the woods and you need to clear some brush off your path, taking that path less traveled, you use the sword to clear the way. And so too, metaphysically you use the sword to clear the energy from the past, which is usually here at the back of the head, the back of the neck here, it's the exit of the, of the uh, third eye, comes out the back of the neck here. And then also the throat chakra, I'm just gonna pull my scarf back a little bit, the throat chakra here. So you use the scarf, Archangel Michael, literally to lift up and kind of cut the, the cords and attachments. It's not a hard motion. It doesn't have to be a forceful. It can just be a gentle swipe, 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 swipe. It's almost like a, a cake being decorated and, and the, the baker just putting the frosting over the top and kind of like a buttery knifing motion, kind of a spatula like thing, just sliding it with ease around that very beautifully and effortlessly. So like that. And you don't have to hack it or push on it or put pressure, you can if you're using it in a different context, but this is not, the sword is not instinctively, it doesn't mean death. It doesn't have to mean bloodied or pain. It doesn't have to be a sign of power that is to be feared or invoke fear or grief or loss. It can be something that is useful, a tool, and helpful to you energetically, okay? So challenge is an invitation to consider things differently. It's not a big ask. It doesn't have to be this massive monumental shift or change. It's not requiring anything of you. Mm -hmm. And Yet we equate, I know that I equate the word challenge with struggle. And I feel like struggling is, is bad because it exhausts me. It, it wears me down because haven't we all been struggling for the last few years? Isn't that what's been happening? Isn't, aren't we just worn down from that? Aren't we? Struggle is not bad. I had a life coach a few years ago that I worked with, uh, a horse coach, an intuitive She's very intuitive, very healing coach. She works with natural lifemanship. And she said, struggle isn't bad, Bridget. Struggle is like normal. Struggle is natural. That's how you learn. I'm like, oh, struggle isn't the same thing as pain. Struggle isn't, doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. In fact, the fact that you're challenged or the fact that you're struggling with that challenge could very well mean that you're doing a lot of things right. You're in the right place at the right time. Just because something's hard or difficult doesn't mean it's wrong. doesn't mean it's bad. It means it's hard or difficult because you maybe don't have those skills yet, okay? You maybe don't have that perspective 
or that understanding yet to put this into context. So it seems hard. It seems very challenging. But as you move through or work with that circumstance, situation, lesson, information, you gain the skills, you gain the muscle to manage, to cope, to handle, and to improve upon whatever area of your life it touches. It might be all of you, the whole of you. So without the challenge, we don't have the ability to know more about ourselves, to discover more about ourselves, to learn more about ourselves. And it, it doesn't have to be hard. A challenge can be something that we're up-leveling. And something's hard because we put ourselves in this situation where we are growing, growing, going, going, open to experience new things, to learn new things, to learn about new things, to meet new people, to go new places, to discover. And the newness about the discovery can be a challenge. The newness, the unknown in the process of the learning can be the challenge. That can represent the challenge. And the challenge is often unknown or unproven or unidentified, not yet revealed and or not yet understood skill, attribute, trait, part of yourself that you've never met before. And so challenge can mean a whole host of different things. It doesn't necessarily mean good or bad. And it doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. You shouldn't, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't do this. There used to be kind of this understanding in psychic work and spiritual work, even coaching or really just intuitive psychic work for sure where there's this kind of assumption, which is a myth, where, oh, if it's hard, it must not be right for me. If it's too hard to do, or if there's roadblocks put in my place, it's like God, universe saying, no, this isn't for you. And in some cases that might be true, but in many cases, it's just because you haven't had yet been faced with the opportunity to learn more about yourself, to bring a part of yourself forward that is needed for that situation, that is needed in order to continue along the path. And so in order to continue along the path, you have to pause for a moment, regroup, look in, get reflective, get introspective, and find whatever tool, whatever barrier or resistance is, is there, healing, working with it, being willing to lean into the difficult feelings, or and usually it's feelings. It's usually, let's just be straight. It's usually difficult feelings, right? Either coming at you from somebody else and their limited views of you or life or their advice or what they think you should do so that, you know, they're coming from their own perspective. They have no idea what it's like to be you really. They're just trying to help, but it doesn't mean that they know better than you. You know better than you. You know better than them, okay? Who knows better than them? You. Who knows you better? You. So, the challenge, the resistance that you come up against just means that there's some part of you that needs to come forward to be able to meet that challenge, to meet it, to be a good match for it. And that is when you can continue to move forward. So when you're challenged or you have resistance, it doesn't mean stop, it's the wrong path or the wrong choice. It means you're in a place, you've been given an opportunity, to go deeper inside you to find what you need at this moment in time to meet and greet the challenge, not to fight it. No fighting, stop the fighting, stop the chaotic energy inside. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It is distracting you from the experiences of life that you've come here to embrace and embody and to share with others. opportunity to find, to discover, to meet something in you, to bring forward, to match the challenge, to unite with the challenge, to unify with the challenge, and then to grow along the journey until the next one. <laughs> wow, that was good stuff. Let's have some coffee. This is my merch, by the way. Do you need some hope in the new year? Do you need some hope at this moment? 
Maybe you should check that out below. This is Bridget. It's been my pleasure to connect with you today. And thank you, Archangel Michael, for showing up. Put the word challenge and the energy of challenge for us and the potential meaning for you. Make sure you use your journal, like I suggested, and ponder what this means for you. I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope, encouraged you to live your life. After all, that's what the job is. That's what I do here on Above Life channel on YouTube. I hope to see you on my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel where I talk about all different kinds of intuitive things. I do card readings over there. I do vlogs. I do live streams over there also. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Bridget Inspired as well. Sometimes I do live streams on Instagram too. So I hope that I've encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all. And do you get to live it? Just live it. Thanks for being here.